past uh, six and a half years, our next guest has wowed the daytime uh, audiences with her Emmy Award-winning portrayal of Eden in the popular daytime drama Santa Barbara. And here she is, Marcy Walker. Hi, Marcy. How are you doing? Yes. Nice to see you again. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank Marcy you. gave me a little... <laughs> well, you never know which direction to go, right? Are or you a righty or a lefty? Or whether to kiss. You know what I mean? Uh, well, she's but, been on our show many times. Uh, here's, here's, how, here's how I handle that crisis. When a female star comes out, you know, uh, you size them up right away, and it takes a man of innate intelligence to do this. <laughs> but you got to look in the woman's eyes and see if she wants a kiss. Oh, yeah? And if she wants a kiss, I kiss them. <laughs> oh. If they want to laugh, I laugh with them. <laughs> if they want to cry, I cry with them. Because you are every man. I am every, every man, yeah. yes. Yeah. So how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Big changes in your life. Yes, yeah. Marcy. What's going to happen here? Well, I'm leaving Santa Barbara. Marcy! Tell us it isn't true. Yeah. You're going to disappoint a lot of people. Yeah, I've been there almost seven years. It's been a long time. So you feel it's time to move on? Well, it was just sort of one of those things that, you know, you audition for other things while you're happy. Yeah, it sure. doesn't mean you're not happy. Mm -hmm. And one of them clicked, which is rare. And um, I'm doing a, a series for Kennel, for CBS. On primetime? On primetime. And what's the name time. of it? Palace Guard. Palace Guard. What's it yeah. about? It's uh, kind of like To Catch a Thief. Mm. Huh. You know, a uh, world-renowned jewel thief. And I'm, of course, you know, the, the woman who runs around going, you can't do that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And Your who's, conscience. And yeah. who's the jewel thief? Uh, D.W. Moffat is his name. Oh. I, I work I've good with guys who have initials. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. I've seen that name, but I can't place him. Yeah, he, if you saw him, you might yeah. recognize him. He's done a lot of theaters from Chicago. Mm. He's real good. This right. isn't the first time you've left a secure situation, though. You left another yeah. soap once before. Yeah, and all my children. Yeah, and that then went on. I mean, so that was a good change for you. Yeah, I mean, you have to take risks. Otherwise, you may never succeed in anything mm. else. Well, it's easy to get complacent so. just doing what you do every yeah. single day, day in, day out. Right, Reach? Please. You're absolutely right. I'm looking forward to my next risk. <laughs> Lunch at Columbus? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you, are you nervous about this at all? Oh, yeah, I'm really nervous. Because at prime time, they're crazy, you know. Well, all you do is run around waiting to see what the ratings are, you yeah, know, exactly. and if people are watching or they like what you're doing, because otherwise, you know, you're out of there. There's mm -hmm. a lot of all that money. Now, what's no. going to happen to Cruise now that and you're gone? He, when he found out that the series was picked up, because uh, I called him, I let him, I told him, I said, you're the first to know. I called him, he, he said, I'm real happy for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was like, I started to cry because he and I are like soulmates. Yeah. And I'll miss him a lot. Mm. He's, he's like my best friend. Mm. So it'll be hard. So don't ask me about it anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Touched a nerve there. Yeah, see how some people get you know, close when they work together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Look, he's crying. The woman is oh, crying yeah. right so here. I'm sorry. It's, he you know, says he's saying it's like, I've only got like a couple weeks left, you know, and, and, and so it's like getting more real. Well, yeah. I suppose something. you can't tell us, but um, what happens to your character? Oh, Does she go boy. away at a trip or... No, I'll tell you because, you know, it is so silly what they're doing to me. <laughs> um, I have this split personality thing going on right yeah. now. And I, had two, I, I just had two personalities. And then the one sort of committed suicide on the other one. But then I split into a third personality, who's this southern girl who's oh a painter. God. But before I leave, I turn into a man. Oh. <laughs> well, there goes Cruz. Yeah. There goes Cruz. No more love scenes. <laughs> so I have to, I'm not going to tell you what man, but I turn into a man that I know. Howard Cosell? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is, this is absurd. So, though. it's Ian, a little yeah. absurd, but the good thing is that the, the real nice thing is that Stephen J. Cannell is going to come on our show as somebody who's going to kidnap me my last day. So, oh, I thought that would be kind of fun. Is that going to be a little inside? Will the audience know who this is? They guy? may or they may well, not. She's just but, told them. Yeah. Our show is, our show is pretty, pretty uh, funny when it comes to stuff like that. You, you know, we want our Emmys, funny. they leave them on the set and stuff. And mm. <laughs> so, you, you turned into a man and he kidnaps the man? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> And he goes to work as a we become star. lovers and, you know. <laughs> Live happily know. ever after. Yeah. Well, shall we take a look at a clip now from Santa Barbara and we see how this split personality takes you over? Oh, Lord. Uh, sure. Right. Yeah, I guess. This, this must be quite an acting challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marcy Walker, Santa Barbara. You're afraid, aren't you? You're afraid that if she gets well, she won't need you anymore. That's not true. Are you sure that's, that's not, not true? She doesn't need you. You don't care about her. 
You don't care about her, and you don't care about her, and you don't care about her. You don't care what happens to her. You don't love her. That's why you keep trying to take her away from me. We just want to take away the pain. There's How only one get way to make that go away. Not if somebody gets hurt. Well, I think it's a small price to pay compared to the damage done. I consider it getting even. Good. Thing. A lot of yelling on that show, huh? <laughs> a lot of passion. A lot of, lot of, lot of yelling, a lot of love. Mm. It's, you know, everyday life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Marcy's leaving. It's everyday I life know. around here. That's right. Yeah. We do an awful lot of yelling around here, Marcy. But your personal life is just going beautifully. Yeah, I'm happy I, there. Everything's great. My, my son is almost two and a half, and uh, he's saying, oh, you know, he's becoming this little L.A. baby. I, right before I came here, I was panicking, trying to pack, and he went, Mama, chill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and he's oh, too? I went, what? <laughs> I mean, his, his, you said that your son, one of your first was football? But football. <laughs> My son's was no way. Oh, now that's the yeah. difference in households, isn't yeah, it? I think so. Oh, L.A. is funny that way. I know. I know. Here's uh, her little boy right here. Oh, yeah. A little uh, blondie, that? huh? Isn't he darling? Yeah. And here are some more pictures of these at, at your home, right? It's yeah. hard for you to leave him, Marcy. I'm going through there. I brought Cody here with every day for, oh, since yeah. he was born. And now he stays at home most of the time. And that's very difficult for me. It's real hard. I, I mean, I, I found it. I had to go back to work when he was only two weeks old. So it was really tough. And I went back to, you know, 14-hour days. And uh, I think it was harder on me than it was on him. Oh, yeah, definitely. He seemed to do just fine. It was me that went through the separation anxiety of wondering how I was and feeling that I should feel guilty. And if I didn't feel guilty, then I should. And yeah. it's Well, how tough. did you feel about that? Did you feel guilty? I definitely felt guilty. But then when I started to sort of not feel guilty that he was okay, I felt guilty for not feeling guilty. Jeez, I'm, be I'm beginning to feel guilty myself. <laughs> just for it's, sitting it's here. It's very real emotion. It's tough, you know. Mm -hmm. It's tough being a mom, being a working mom. Being a good one. I mean, that's the tough one. No, this <laughs> is what you wanted. It's true. Now you have it all. You have the career, you have the baby, husband. Yeah. You do your best. And you come to really respect your parents telling you that. When you were young, you didn't, you didn't accept it, you know. I, I did my best, I tried my best. Mm -hmm. And when you get older, you realize. That's right. I did my best is really the greatest thing that your parents or you could ever do for your children. But then the next question is, is it enough? <laughs> Listen to this man. What kind of child were you? <laughs> you don't I did my best. <laughs> Well, all right, so we got to say goodbye to Marcy. But the next time we see you, she'll be on. What's the name of the new show? Palace Guard. Palace Guard. Come on, remember yeah. these things. Friday, Friday nights at 10. Mm -hmm. That's oh, right. Good. We look forward. An adult show. show. An adult show with D.W. Buffett. Thanks, Marcy. Good luck. <laughs> best to you. All the best to you. Really. We'll be right back.